Hello there, my name is CJ Ward, and the purpose of today's video is the promotion of mental health awareness and the influence of social media as it relates to healthy lifestyles. And now I know some of you may be thinking, <laughs> what? If so, please allow me to explain. In 2016, I suffered a serious injury, which required rehabilitation and the whole nine yards. And from that spawned the documentary titled Road to Recovery, the Cognitive and Behavioral Approach to Rehabilitation which is available for purchase for any counselors, mental health practitioners, therapists, or any individuals interested in mental health awareness. And thank God, I can finally say that I'm securely back on my feet and most importantly, still in my right mind. In 2017, around this time last year, I chose to relocate to a new city and a new environment. And at that time, I thought it was a great time to begin research for program development and curriculum creation. So I thought to myself, I said, self, because <laughs> I do that from time to time, don't judge me. I said, self, how should I approach this situation? Well, the answer I received and what transpired was, if an individual can create a viable business without relying on certain systems, how beneficial or successful would it be? And to make the experiment more interesting, how important is social support systems, and social networking. What variables are involved? How can certain circumstances affect certain individuals? So with that said, let's fast forward to now. The present, 2018. After compiling the data and cross-referencing the results, I'm telling you folks, it is not looking too good. And I have undoubtedly confirmed the stats of a sharp decline in empathy in this nation through this experiment. However, the findings have tremendously assisted me with research, which will make more sense in the near future, and the findings will be made available momentarily. But I won't leave this video today without at least a little teaser. So just for a moment, think about all the recent mass shootings, social injustices, community violence, police brutality, increasing number of suicides, military veterans and those who suffer from PTSD, international conflicts, and the three branches of our government, which is... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Executive, judicial, and legislative. Now, what do all these categories have in common? At the end of the day, individuals want to be heard, individuals desire to be heard, and thirdly, individuals need to be heard. Or, simply stated, People desire what? What is it with the Alex? Yes, that's right. What more can I say? <laughs> Hopefully you receive some form of humor in that clip. And you also like my dance moves. But at this time, I would like to thank those special individuals who took time to lend a listening ear, actually reached out, and were genuinely empathetic. It was much appreciated, and you'll be hearing from me soon. And also to those individuals, just know I'm in a wonderful space because of my faith, optimistic perspective, and more importantly, I'm always focused on the creator and not the creations. Therefore, I can happily and finally say I'm done with my research on this particular assignment, and I'm so glad to finally get back to my normal mode of operations which can be found at Proverbs 29 and 11. Be sure to check that out when you have time. And to those individuals who can relate to the narrative of this video, you are not alone in your struggles and your life matters. If I can offer any advice, read this following scripture, meditate on it, and analyze your perspective. And as always, remain encouraged. What more can I do?